Hello everyone, today I'm going to be picking up where I left off when I did go to Mordong and get the shadow crystals for one of the quests I got here in Theramore. I'm just going to quickly grab these thresher oils. Hopefully quickly. I'm not sure about the drop rate on them. It doesn't seem like it's the greatest. starting to understand why there are so many threshers under the docks here. Because the drop rate sucks. Here we go. Um, since I'm here, I hope that I have to go up on the dock. I might as well grab the Aganda. I'm just blind. Oh, and stupid. <laughs> I'm like, how am I supposed to board this? I have to walk the plank. They just keep respawning as quickly as I'm killing them. Genuinely asking. There's stairs on this side, so there should be. There we go. Start by turning in the propaganda, I believe. Yes. Did you manage to find and capture the remaining propaganda leaflets? 
the SI7 agent nod with approval. Excellent. All that remains is to discredit the deserters, so they'll never gain a foothold in Theramore again. And I have just the plan to do it. It would be a shame to let these leaflets go to waste, wouldn't it? Wouldn't you like to bring those days back? Oh, that's somebody else talking. With just a little creative editing, these are much more useful. Discrediting the deserters. I've altered the leaflets you captured from the deserters' mercenary friends. Vax. Now... Anyone who reads them will get an entirely different view of the deserters and their aims. If we distribute these to enough of the guards, the deserters will be too embarrassed to ever re-establish their presence within our walls. Kalia hands you a stack of the altered leaflets. Why don't you get started while I plan our next move? Can I read them? And it just says the text of these leaflets has been doctored to embarrass the Theramore deserters. To create a fund for the purchase of hair gel? I like my hair the way it is. This, this is a choke, right? Oh, and he's just, he's just talking. He's just yapping. Hey, thanks. Aramore Guard reads the leaflet. To establish the chicken as an official symbol of Theramore? These guys are nuts. As a deserter, you'll enjoy activities like tethered swimming and dog grooming? How ridiculous. How many am I handing out? Six? Citizens will be free to juggle at all hours of the day. What is this nonsense? Kind of awkward with one of them here. Receive fifty percent of the deserters' undergarments. What is this garbage? Would you like a leaflet? <laughs> like a uh, Jehovah's Witness right now. Ooh, when did I get this? An alchemy recipe that I didn't know? Was that from the Thrushers? Because that was... that'd be awesome. I think I can get up another one to him yet. I'll go over here on the docks. And the last one says... Oh, the same thing as last one. Unfortunate. That's okay. I 
I thought I heard laughter coming from the barracks. Did you distribute those leaflets I gave you? Melia chuckles as you describe the guard's reaction to the propaganda. Just as I had hoped, I think it's safe to say any deserter agents who try to infiltrate Theramore will be laughed right out of town. The end of the deserters. Now that we've eliminated the deserters from Theramore, it's time to complete this operation. My local contacts have reported that the deserters base their operations in a ship moored on a small island to the southeast of the docks. Arresting their leader, Gavis Grayshield, should cause the others to lose their will to fight. Find him within the ship and convince him to surrender. I wouldn't be surprised if he puts up a bit of a fight for show, but then surrenders when he understands he can't win. And... Well, he's... He's way out there. I'm gonna turn these other ones in first. of this tower. Oh, I forgot that it does that up here. Just kind of clips the, uh, the world a little bit. Have you made the trip yet? I realize it'd be quite dangerous, but if you were successful, it would be... It would very much be worth it. These are perfect lunacy. I actually had other adventurers return from there also, and from them I was able to fashion these. Please, feel free to take one for your hard work. And thank you again for more samples to study. I thought I saw a vendor up here, but apparently not. turn in these crab legs that I grabbed from Swamp of Sorrows, and bugs. My research with the mud rock tongues is progressing nicely. I trust your crab hunt goes well. These are wonderful specimens, Lunacy. The shells are in perfect condition, and the meat is pink and tender. The blood of a chef is in your veins, I'm sure of it.
I'm gonna swim over to that lighthouse. And turn in the pressure oil. Were you able to get any of that thresher oil? Well, I have my doubts, but this is the only solution available right now. Once we have it up and running, I'm sure there will be time to look at other ways to fuel the lamp. Dastardly Denizens of the Deep you know, it's amazing what you can find in that old lighthouse. After I lit the lamp, I noticed this book in one of the old trunks up there. Babs holds up the book and reads the title dramatically. Dastardly Denizens of the Deep. Why? I think I might swoon if I ever saw one of these. I'm sure it's good for a laugh or two, but I simply don't have time for reading it right now. You know who might enjoy it, though? That fishmonger on the docks. Well, dirty Michael Crow. He collects old books. Ooh, but I can read it. One of the most frightening creatures I've ever seen with my own eyes is Teethier. I've only laid eyes on the beast once, and I count myself lucky beyond belief to have survived. It was a dark and stormy night. Through the swirling seas and driving rain, the beacon of Theramore's lighthouse was barely visible. We did our best to steer toward it. Suddenly, the beast burst from between the waves in front of our ship. The mighty creature's maw opened wide, tossing bolts of icy water toward our vessel. Those terrible jaws clamped down upon the bow of our ship, tearing it from the hull. Sailors and cargo were thrown violently into the sea as the remnants of the ship disappeared beneath the waves. The last thing I remember was flying from the broken hull, hitting the inky waters and plunging beneath the waves. The world went dark, and I thought for certain I'd drawn my last breath. When I awoke in Theramore's infirmary, sorry for the background noise, I knew someone had to tell our story. Well, it doesn't seem like it's the whole book. Hmm. Actually, I think I'm gonna go out here. For Gavis Gray Shield.
I wish it stopped taking me out of book form. Which I don't know what causes that, but I hate it. So we will be in here. I surrender. State your uh, stay your blade. I will go with you. Just spare my men. They're good lads. We've only made a mistake. I may have killed a few already. But I'll try not to kill any more. If they attack me though, that's that's on them. I can get up on this side. It's kind of hard to tell. It looks pretty steep though. Oh yeah, I can. Sweet. Hello. I love how I just swim out of the sea and just run up and start talking to this guy about books. What'll it be today? The snook is quite good. Well now, that was thoughtful of Abs to send that over. I don't know if you've leafed through it or not, but there's a lot of truth to the tales in that book. Sailors didn't just make it all up, you know. Is it real? Oh, I'm sure you and Babs had a good laugh over the outlandish descriptions and sketches in the book. But have you stopped to consider that there might be some truth to the legends? If you listen closely enough, I bet you can still hear sailors talk about here. The sea creature the book says lives right here. Of course, if you wanted to know for sure, you could always ask old Matt Paggle. He's got a small fishing camp on a little island in Tide Fury Cove, which is southwest across Dust Wallow Bay. The end of the deserters. Gavis's request isn't as outlandish as it might sound. With the proper handling, Lady Jaina can return the deserters to the fold, but that is her decision, of course. It's been a pleasure working with you, Lunacy. Without your help, I doubt the operation would have gone so smoothly. When I make my report in Stormwind, it will name you as the druid who ended the 
deserter threat. I am going to talk to that guy again and vendor a few things. And I'm going to start making my way back the other way. It's Friday night when I'm recording this, so there is a bit more traffic on my street, so I hope that the background noise isn't overbearing. Ephias and Dustwallow? Were you able to track down their leader? Captain Wymore accepts the orders from you and reads over them. What in the world would precious cargo refer to? The Defias have done some small time smuggling in lands of Stormwind. But this seems out of their league. The language of these orders suggests a wealthy or noble patron. Ren McGill. From the wording of the orders you recovered, it looks like the first priority of the Defias will be to locate and secure whatever cargo they possessed. SI-7 has had a salvage diver named Ren McGill working out of Theramore for some time. When he heard about the shipwreck, Ren went north to dive near the islands the Defias now occupy. If we're to beat the Defias to this cargo, we'll need his help. Look for him in the waters, northeast of a small island, just north of the island you visited earlier. Is that the one with the Defias divers? I believe so. I have that letter from another quest. Good Martek, I'm in a jam and I need your help. My brother and I are building a race car and we need strong pistons. Nothing I try is hard enough. Nothing can hold up to our new car speed. And so the engine breaks down constantly. You are an expert in crafting with metal. You must help. You are the only one who can. Here are the piston specifications. I am not reading all of that. Well met, druid. What brings you out here? Ren looks over the orders. So, there was valuable cargo on board. Okay. Darn. I needn't remind you of the importance of your mission. 
protect your precious cargo at any cost. As I have promised, success and discretion will be richly rewarded. Keep the tongue wagging of your associates to a minimum. Heed the crew and all will be well. You shall await word of your success. Ren looks over the orders. So, there was valuable cargo on board. We have to locate it before the Defias recover it. These guys are no divers, but we're going to need some of their gear if you're to help me find the cargo. Second hand diving gear. There's plenty of wreckage strewn across the bottom of the water here to Alcaz, and the Defias have already got divers out there looking around. With the help of their gear, we can get you suited up and ready to join the hunt, but you'll have to do some creative borrowing first. Search this island for a crate of diving gear and something to repair it with. When you've got them, bring them to me and I'll have you gear ready, your gear ready in no time. To be fair, I am a druid, I can just swap into aquatic form. Let's see what you've managed to borrow from the Defias. Wow, this is in worse shape than I'd thought. At least tools. Well, I said I'd get this back into working condition for you, so I'd better get to work. Recover the cargo. Well, I was able to make enough repairs to this gear to let you dive for a while anyway. I wouldn't count on it holding out for a long time though. The wreckage of the ship is strewn along the bottom of the east coast of this island out towards Alcaz Island. While that helm holds out, Locate pieces of the wreckage on the bottom between this island and Alcaz. Use this salvage kit to search the wreckage for pieces of the cargo. Be careful not to venture too close to Alcaz Island. Those hydra are fierce. I'm confused. Oh, okay. it increased my swim speed. Maybe it does. Oh, I need six. Hmm. 
Mm, it just says water breathing. I like how that guy's just swimming through it instead of salvaging it. I wish the water wasn't so murky. Don't like it. Get my helmet back on, get it to aquatic form, and swim back over to him. Did you search of the wreckage? Did your search of the wreckage reveal anything about the Defias cargo? Run rifles through the contents of the strong boxes you recovered. Good work. Now, let's see if your precious cargo is in here. Jaina must know. Hmm, old coins, ugly jewelry, more ugly jewelry, letters home. I'm beginning to give up hope. Hey, what's this? A pair of manacles? And not just any. These are enchanted. This cargo, it wasn't a thing. It was a person. all he's gonna say. So Jaina must know. You must bring news of our findings to Lady Jaina without delay. If the Defias were transporting a prisoner, there's no telling who it might be or if the person is still alive. One thing is for certain, Lunacy. The Defias wouldn't go to all this trouble for some petty grudge. Their prisoner must have been someone of importance. Lady Jaina would know better than anyone else what these findings mean. You'll find her at the top of the Mage Tower at Theramore's center. to run all the way back. I think I'm just gonna follow the coast instead of dealing with all the terrain over here.
wonder who the prisoner was. Or who she's gonna suspect that it was. One thing is for sure though, I really wish that she wasn't at the top of this tower and that she was at the bottom of it, because I'm tired of going up and down this tower. <laughs> You and Ren have done excellent work in bringing this information to light and reporting it immediately. Now, we must confirm your findings. The implications are too great if we are wrong. Survey Alcaz Island. It looks like Ren's hunch about Alcaz Islands Islands was right. We need to survey that island, but it would take a whole brigade of troops to fight our way in there. Theramore's defenses can't weather such a hit, so I've arranged with Casa Crimsonwing, the apprentice to Theramore's Griffin Master, to allow you to use one of her beasts to survey Alcaz from the air. Alcaz Island holds the key to the mystery of the Defias' involvement in this kidnapping. It scares the hell out of me every time it does that. Oh, that's one way to get to the bottom. this lady about uh, Griffin and be on our way. Lady Jaina told me to speak to you about using a Griffin to survey Cass Island. And now we go for a nice little Griffin ride. You would think that I don't have my view distance very high. I'm not seeing an option to turn it up. Ooh, a giant dragon. Dragons and Naga. Sign me up. There are the hydras, nice uh, little lighthouse there.
then I guess I get to go tell her what I saw. I don't know how it's going to shed any light onto who was kidnapped. Like all of his women. It kind of is. Lady Jaina listens intently as you report the results of your aerial survey. A rune circle, dragonkin, the Defias have allied themselves with her. The traitor? Lady Jaina composes herself and prepares to explain. Perhaps I should explain. Yes, Gina, perhaps you should. I had arranged for a secret summit between War Chief Thrall and King Wern here in Theramore. The king was to travel here by ship in secret, but the ship never arrived. And King Wirin disappeared. Your help enabled us to connect the Defias to the mastermind behind the abduction, Anixia, who was posing as a member of royal court. Meanwhile, the king managed to escape his captors and returned to Stormwind to deal with Anixia. I will send word that you have discovered the link to the Defias. I was a fool to think them broken with the defeat of Edwin Van Cleef, and King Wirin will want an example, will want to make an example of all who remain. Weird, I feel like I should be getting a quest from her to kill Anixia, even though there kind of is one here in uh, Dust Wallow. Just haven't picked it up yet. I probably will pick it up uh, once I finish the rest of everything, which I can't imagine there's much more. Seems like I'm mostly just going to be turning in these three quests. They may have like a little tiny follow-up. We shall see. I am going to try and finish the zone in this video, but can't promise because I don't know if it's gonna send me off on like a crazy long adventure randomly. I feel like Tenaris did that quite a bit.
kind of weird. I thought that there were going to be more quests at each of those, like, lighthouse towers. Kind of like, um, in Eastern Pikelands. At least after Cat Eye, I remember that being a thing. I don't know about before Cat Eye. I guess we'll find out once I start doing uh, Eastern Kingdoms a bit more. I am making pretty good headway through Kalimdor compared to Eastern Kingdoms. I'll turn this one in since I'm here. It almost looks like it's not in Dust Wallow, but I think it's like right at the edge. Inspecting the ruins. It's good to see that Captain Vi Vimes is finally assigning others to this investigation. I've used a reflective powder to dust the area. It will reveal suspicious objects and markings, helping you to focus your efforts. Look over anything the dust illuminates. Suspicious hoof prints. Rows of hoof prints lead away from the still smoking skeleton of the Shady Rest Inn. There are at least a few visible impressions, with more rows of prints almost imper imperceptible in the soft mud of the marsh. And he says, Mysterious hoof prints. Scorched shields, stray badges. How do we make sense of all this? And I'm sure that that's what I'm gonna find in here. This is probably badge. A glint of light on the ground catches your eye from underneath the rubble. Brushing away debris and ash caked onto the object reveals the insignia of a gold anchor on white enameled on the surface, the sign of Theramore. Underneath the anchor is embossed the name Lieutenant Pavel Reith. The Black Shield, an iron shield blackened by the fire that raged through the inn, is affixed to the crumbling chimney, one of the few remaining parts of the structure that once made up the Shady Rest Inn. The shield can be removed from the brick of the chimney. Oh wow, he wants me to bring all of those back to Theramore. Those will probably have a follow-up. So maybe I won't be finishing this in uh, this area in this video.
so many winding paths on this part. Tiara of the Deep. Do you have the tiara, Lunacy? Has Valratha learned the price of crossing me? Wonderful, you found it. And what's just as important, Valratha no longer has it. Thank you, Lunacy. I am forever in your debt. And if I sounded a little mean before, Pay it no mind. You'll find me in a much you'll find me a much nicer person to those who haven't stolen from me. Do oh, I get both? Very nice. It's good of Theramore to send someone. Your guard friend's suspicions were correct. We've got some new neighbors. And they aren't the kind you'd bring a casserole. Yeah. I already did her quests. We'll see how awkward it is to get over here since there's mountains kind of in the way. It looks like there might be a path through. Thank God. Chasing me? No. Matt Peggle. Is it real? So, you want to know about sea monsters? Hmm. Well, I'll make you a deal, but it's going to involve a lot of alcohol and some embarrassment on your part. Nat's bargain. So, you found a copy of Dastardly Denizens of the Deep, did you? Well, I can tell you from experience, it's all true. I've even seen a few of them with my own eyes. But you want to know about Teethier. I said I'd make you a deal. So here's what I want you to do. I'm working on a new line of baits, but I haven't tested this one yet. Just take this paste. Yeah, it smells a little foul. Smear it on yourself and swim over to that wrecked ship to the southwest. If you survive, let me know how it works. Here, I have tested it, the shark likes it, Mm. 
Remember, the deal is, don't come back until something bites you. Not bad at all, but you know, I think I'd get a bath in as soon as possible if I was you. Now, about your sea monster, help yourself to a brew or two in the meantime. Oh, it's real. Yes, Keithier is certainly real, and he lives in the waters off Theramor. As a thing for bright lights, he's the reason they shut down the lighthouse in the first place, you know. And if you're, if you light it up again, he'll come right back. But no one in their right mind would do that. So, that must be your plan. It's been good sharing a drink with you. But don't blame old Matt if Teethier really turns you into fish bait. If you're going to do this, make sure you consult Major Mills at the Theramore docks. I think I'm just gonna swim. to Theramore. like this little flip here. There we go. That was nice. That was nice and short. I think I could have done that from the beginning. Now I had some other stuff to turn it along the way. Oh, it's real. You recount your experiences with Nat Paggle, carefully omitting the portion about the bait test. Well, it sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. I'll make the preparations. Take down Teethir. Sea monster or no, we're not going to risk the safety of our shipping. I've ordered our best marksmen to prepare for a confrontation with this Teethir. The artillerymen have augmented the dock's defenses with three mortars. I'm going to order the lighthouse's damp, <laughs> the lighthouse's lamp, illuminated. If Teethir does attack, it will be your job to operate the mortars and take down the beast before it can kill all the marksmen. I wouldn't stand in one place too long, though. Using the mortars is likely to draw its attention. Marksmen, form up and take your positions. can literally just kill it. It's only got 15k health. Will it let me? Invalid target. Yeah, this definitely seems like the end of the zone. Final quest. I know there's other stuff I have to turn in, but... I 
is it gonna okay Just kill it this way. setting off fireworks in celebration. Well done, Lunacy. I'll admit, when I caught my first glimpse of that beast, I had doubts about our ability to defend the docks, but you held together de the defenders brilliantly. I think I turn all three objects into him. Yes. Have you found anything of interest at the Shady Rest Inn? It's never good news when a guard's badge is brought to me. Sometimes it's a man or woman who has fallen in battle and I'm left to bring the news to the grieving family. Other times, we never find out what happened to them, and other times, it's even worse than that. I don't recognize the name of, the lo of Lieutenant Pavel Reed. Your best bet would be to check with the edge Adjutant Tessoran. He keeps track of all the records of the Faramore Guard, from personnel to their equipment. He should be able to tell you who this Wreath is with a quick check of his books. The Black Shield. Have you found evidence from the site? of the Shady Rest Inn. Hmm. I'm no expert with the construction of arms and armor. Their use, yes, but not their making. This shield seems as ordinary as any, except the damage from the fire that engulfed the inn. I'm sorry I can't be of much help, Lunacy, but I can refer you to someone who would be. Kaz Two Sprocket, one of our best blacksmiths, works the forge at the smithy. Take the shield to him and see what he can tell you. Suspicious Hoofprints Hoofprints, eh? It is true that there is an extraordinary amount of centaur activity in the lands near the Dustwallow Marsh. In brief excursions into the barrens, 
We found their camps and holdings dotting the area. We'll send out Falgren Hastel, one of our trackers, to see if he can find where the tracks lead. Tesseram, I need someone, Valgren Hassel preferably, to take care of Lunacy's lead on the prince near the Shady Rest Inn. Right away, sir. Valgren Hastel reporting, sir. I will find where the hoofprints lead and report back to you. Lieutenant Pavel Reed. Hello, Lunacy. You'd like information about a specific member of the Theramore Guard? Reed, was it? Just give me a moment to find the right book. Ellen's men. Red on, red hat. Ah, here it is. Lieutenant Pavel Reith. Joined the Theramore Guard along with most of the recruits. They came across the sea with Lady Proudmore. Enlisted with the Marines of Colteris at the age of 16. Distinguished service, promotions. Listed as missing. Missing would be Tesserin's kind of way of saying traitor. No doubt he's one of those fools, so blindly loyal to Admiral Dalen. He turned traitor. Isn't that a delicious irony? The deserters accuse us of betraying the Alliance? The deserters. It has been a struggle maintaining a presence in the marsh, but through strength of our resolve, we have been able to maintain several defensive watchtowers throughout the area. The latest information and scouting reports I have received indicate that a group of deserters has squatted in our abandoned tower at Lost Point, southeast of the inn. The local lieutenant seems to be Balos Jackin. See if you can get some information out of him. Be warned, Lunacy. He may be a tough nut to crack. So it does seem like there are a few more quests going on in this zone. Um, and this is a little bit longer of a video already, so I think I'm going to end this one here and pick it up in the next video. Um, honestly, I'm probably... I'm probably going to start the next video over here picking up these two quests it's around turning it same. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you've made it this far, consider liking or subscribing. I hope you guys have a good rest of your night and sweet dreams. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!